All right, number nine from the 1.6 textbook section. We need to solve for x, and we have a polynomial equation. x to the fourth minus 81 equals zero. All right, it's a polynomial, just like all of these on the screen here. All right, polynomials have terms that are variables raised to inter positive integer powers or zero, um, not negative. Uh, it's like quadratic equations or polynomials. You know, all these are polynomial equations. The reason why I'm making a big point about that is because the way you want to solve polynomial equations is by factoring. All right, if it's a quadratic, you have a couple different methods, but if it's bigger than a quadratic, your only option is to factor, all right, without using technology. All right, you can always use technology to solve an equation by graphing or either just telling the cast to solve it, but you're gonna to wanna to know how to do it by hand as well. Uh, but the calculator is a great tool to check your work. And then down the road, when you start doing more complicated things, then like a word problem or something, or something in calculus, you can just use the calculator to solve it. So know how to do it both ways. So we're gonna factor this. Now this is a difference of two squares, all right? It's in the form a squared minus b squared, meaning uh, like eight, x to the fourth is a perfect square and 81 is a perfect square. And we know that we factor that by writing it as a sum and a difference multiplied by each other. All right, so this could be written as x squared squared minus nine squared. All right, so in other words, a is x squared and b is nine. So we can factor it out as x squared minus nine times x squared plus nine equals zero. All right, so now we went from a fourth degree polynomial to two second degree polynomials multiplied together. So at this point, each polynomial is a quadratic. So you could set each factor equal to zero and solve. Um, you could factor this more and you could factor this more using complex numbers. We haven't talked about that yet, but we will down the road. But for now, you factor, and once you get down to linear and quadratic factors, you can just set each factor equal to zero and solve. So add nine to both sides, take the square root, and you get x is equal to positive or negative three. All right, subtract nine on both sides, x squared is negative nine, take the square root, and you get x is equal to positive or negative three i. All right, because the square root of negative nine is three i, and then because we're taking the square root, we want to add the plus or minus because a positive squared or a negative squared will be positive. And when you when it has i in it, a positive complex number squared, like 3i, is going to be negative. Or a negative 3i squared will also be negative. Because positive or negative 3 squared is always going to be positive 9. And i squared is always going to be negative 1. So that's how you get four answers there. And a good rule of thumb is a polynomial of degree n will have n total solutions. So this is a fourth degree polynomial. That's why we got four solutions here, all right? Plus or minus three i, plus or minus three.